here is where we left off and now I'm going to start to create some UV maps um, to texture that rim. So first of all select that mesh and go back to low poly. Uh, let's delete the history first and then yeah let's um, let me think a second. Okay so I want to separate um, the inner part uh, of the rim from uh, the main part so that we have two different UV maps. There are different ways, I know, but that's um, the way I'm going to show you. So let's select the faces of that cylinder here. And to give it a little bit more definition, let's do another extrusion or two. Just one right there. And hit G to repeat the last tool and do another one just to have you know a little bit more geometry in there okay so now with the the faces selected uh, let's go to right click and then um, a control right click grow selection let's do this one more time so hit G on your keyboard and do this one more time and finally let's do this one more time again okay so with uh, all the faces selected go to mesh and say extract. So now we got um, two pieces here. Uh, let's uh, first focus on, on that inner part. So let me hit uh, Alt H on, on the keyboard to hide everything else in your scene. So what we can do with this is uh, it's going to be a simple UV map. Um, let's go to create UVs. Um, go to automatic mapping and say okay let's see how the options look like that's the default options and that should work fine for um, for our uh, project here okay say apply and then let's take a look at the UV map select the object and go to edit UVs and go down to the UV texture editor there you go, so this is um, the UV map that we just created. Um, the one, the only thing we want to texture is uh, this part right here. So I try to make this as big as possible and then, um, yeah, and then, yeah, I, I don't care about the, the UVs of, of um, you know, the part right here. So if you select uh, those, you can see, yeah, I, I don't really need to lay those out. So, okay, let me pull that up. Now select the UVs. Um, I've got a shortcut on my keyboard. Um, if you select the UV of one shell and you want uh, to select the whole shell, you, you can go to select and say select shell. So I've set up um, a hotkey for that. So that's what I'm using. So select uh, a few UVs and in my case hit Alt and Y and now we get the we get that selected that the whole shell okay I want to center that up uh, somewhere about here and then select the UV select the shell move them out of the way same these guys put them to the side and then <coughs> select that ring I don't really need to lay this out as well but it, let me just um, scale it up a little so let's uh, take these guys here and put them somewhere here right in the corner and uh, select those, the shell. Let's rotate that <laughs> clockwise and then put those somewhere. Could I could rotate them back, put them down here in that corner. Uh, it doesn't really matter, so just that uh, you know we have good lots of space for the main part that we're gonna texture, okay. Uh, so let's take care about these guys here. Put them down there. 
like I said before, uh, it's uh, not important uh, for that ring, so I don't want to put a clean texture on, on that part. Okay, so now let's select the shell of that ring here and let's try to scale it up as much as we can. I don't want to have overlapping UVs, but so yeah, it's gonna work fine. So now with that selected, let's scale it up as large as I can. Okay, so now let's check out where exactly um, uh, how this is rotated, okay? So let's go to UVs and select those. Okay, now let's have a look at the model. So this is, as you can see, those uh, UVs here, they are, um, you know, on top. So, and I guess that even the auto ring should be the same. Yeah, so let's select both of um, the shells of, of both parts and then say, okay, let's rotate that um, counterclockwise. Uh, two times. So now you should see, okay, this is the upper part. So it's gonna be a little bit easier um, in, in Photoshop later on. Okay. Check that out real quick so that it's not overlapping. Alright, so yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, that's just a quick and dirty way to lay out the UVs, but um, that's gonna be fine for, for what I'm doing here, okay? So, with that done, we can um, go in and create a UV map, um, UV snapshot, go to polygons up here and go to UV snapshot. And then say, okay, where do you want to put this? Let's put this into the images folder and call this um, OZ underscore rim inner underscore UV. You can call it whatever you want. Um, let's, yeah, the size of, uh, you know, 1K it should be good. Let's just uh, hit OK and save that out. So and it, you can see here down there's uh, a message that says, okay, it... Yeah, it's in the images folder, and so we're gonna use this later on in Photoshop. Okay, so let's um, pause this video for a second and then uh, show you how to uh, lay out the UVs quick and easy um, for the main part of that RAM, okay?